bills add up for sure. I'm definitely nearing a million dollars in debt. Since I'm the only one working, I just pay like the minimum on a month to month basis. Keaton is not paying anything off in small increments. I don't know what he's thinking, but there's been no payments made towards the hospital. I've paid for hospital bills, electric bills, rent, really whatever she needs. I've paid close to $20,000 for Caitlin. At this point, I pay more of the bills at her house than Keaton does. This is a weird dynamic here. It is. Does this seem weird to you? It's not your normal, for sure. Yeah. Well, what do you think, Keaton? Yeah, it's, it's weird. Do you want your marriage to work? Of course, yeah. Do, do you want your marriage to work? 100%. What you're experiencing is fixable. It really is. I feel like I'm not fixable. I, I know you do, but it hasn't been that long since you were really different, right? <laughs> so you, the best predictor of future behavior is relevant past behavior. And you've got a long history of being really different and a short history of being this way. So you've got a much longer history of being functional and fun and energetic and having a full life. This is just a hiccup. We just need to unhiccup. So you've really got a much longer history predicting a, a really functional history. And you're gonna look back on this and go, wow, boy, did I take a tailspin when I lost my mom. So we can unravel this. And there's several things that need to happen here. And one is, you need to start treating the right thing. And your mother would not want you to be doing this. And you two have a relationship, and you are an interloper, well-intended, but you need to go home. And you two, you two need to work this out between you. And, and when I say you're well-intended, I mean that sincerely. I, I don't think you came into this to <laughs> mess things up. And, and I have so much respect for firefighters and EMTs, and thank you for your service, by the way. Th what you do, uh, people that run into burning buildings, I, I've never quite understood, uh, but I'm certainly glad you do. And now it's time to run into your building an hour away and sleep on in your own bed and not on their couch. You need to take yourself out of this situation and you two need to renew your relationship and POTS is not a terminal disease. It's very manageable. There's no cure for it, but it's very manageable. You can control it with a diet and exercise and maybe some medication, uh, but you're young and and relatively healthy. I, I, I think that's something that can really be minimized in your life. But you need to say, I need to get my anxiety under control. And when you get your anxiety under control, then you're not going to be hypersensitive to every little thing that scares you. You're going to learn to label it differently and cope differently and recognize anxiety for what it is. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.